Good afternoon. I am very pissed off. I am so pissed off that I don't know where to start. I have tried my best. It's not fucking rough because I uh, because I'm tried my best to edit a video and I edited it and then I lost everything. Everything is gone. This job. People say it's hard. It's not. It, it is easy. I'm not saying it's. It, it's not hard. It's not annoying. It's annoying as fuck when you've edited a week, like two weeks ago. I edited and I didn't get it up because everything was going wrong. And then suddenly today I edited it. I was like, yeah, cool. I went to export it. Went to basically do that. And then basically didn't export it. And then when I looked at it, everything was gone. Everything. All my hard work that I put in, all the editing, had fucking gone. So I'm sorry I didn't get to see that vlog, but do you know what it. It's what it is. I'm so pissed off because I thought to myself, yes, I've done it. And then my, my computer and my lazy just does something fucking stupid. I'm so pissed off of what has happened to her. I'm just so pissed off. So I might just edit some things on, from my, uh, on my actual MacBook uh, and my iMac that I've got in the, behind you. So yeah, the good thing is that one of the videos that I upload, I need to edit, I I did, and it's only 60 seconds. 60 second videos do take a while, but you know, you have to get the right thing and everything like that. And they're up on my YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I need to get up on my Facebook as well, but it's 60 seconds and I've done it. Like, I'm glad that that has gone up because I have worked hard on that. That was like a three to four hour look that I recorded and I didn't want that. I got to... I'm so pissed off. I don't know. I am just like... Yes, this job's easy. Yes, you get to sort of free emails. Yes, you get to be your home and be your own boss. Get, wake, wake up at a certain time and everything like that. Yes, you do get to do that. But when it comes to editing and everything just goes and just wipes, you feel like you just feel defeated. And I actually do feel defeated right now. Good morning. It is Tuesday the... I don't know what day it is. Tuesday the 24th. And I was supposed to go to the gym today, but I didn't. But I'm going to the gym tomorrow. There's a reason why I didn't go to the gym. So, good morning. I... I didn't tell you this, but... Monday? Last week, I had to go in for my COVID jab. Now, why is the reason I had to go in for my COVID jab? I am high risk. That's what I am. I am completely high risk because I have no fried and my immune system is shit. So if you don't know what no fried is and you want me to tell you about it, I do it on a I do it on a and I do it in a different video and I go into full length of it. Third afternoon, I am expecting a delivery from DPD, but I did get two deliveries. One of them is a sheen haul, just one, because I'm waiting I'm not doing it now, I'm not doing the haul now because I'm waiting for this is some shots. I'm waiting for basically the everything to come. But I did get, oh there's a yak on the back, oh, that is so cute, my Jeffree Star skin, the moisturiser, I've got it on my face, it feels amazing on my face, it looks, it looks so good, it looks really good, it feels really nice and my skin feels so soft, it feels really soft but yeah, I finally got my package, it took a while but you know what, I finally got it and the key to how I got it, persistence, oh so, okay there we go, persistence, that's how I got it, persistent getting my package my husband's just downstairs and he's in a snitty that he got from me no no don't take it don't take it off it's fine <laughs> oh yeah my husband's right there laying down i'll sit up here that's no, okay then you can sit next to me yeah he's a bit ill but i did cut his hair he had this he has got a haircut which i cut but yeah he's a bit ill but yeah i'm gonna go but I finally got my stuff. So we, I mean, it's Dan's second day off. Yay. And basically we went to get lunch and Carl now do the Christmas stuff. So I got no turkey feast and my husband. What'd you get, baby? Got Boxing Day. He loves a Boxing Day, he does. He loves it. You might even put it on the coaster where I put the other one. Yeah. But yeah, um, so we're gonna have some lunch. I don't care what time it is. I'm gonna watch some Loki. We are not very well. My husband's not well, very well. No. He's not well. And he gave it to me. It's where it works. I haven't touched where it works. I think I'm just going to give that, keep that private. <laughs> <laughs> You're so... Oh, you, you went... This as well, you idiot! Sorry. You're such an idiot! Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Oh, no. Good morning, I am going to be eating something to eat. Got my red fun doll, which is like a dupe of Red Bull. 
If you haven't tried it, go and try it. It's really cheap. It's 2 19 for a six pack. Or Fortnite P for one. And they got the, the sugar-free version of Red Thunder. But me and my husband yesterday got pizza. So yesterday we, I, yesterday I left you at us having lunch. Yesterday we decided to get pizza because me and my husband are ill, and when we're kind of ill, we don't really want to cook anything. So I'm gonna eat my pizza cold. I do love cold pizza. Cold pizza is really good. But this is Papa John's, and it is the Vegan Works. Good morning. Today is. The worst day, um, and I'm really still shocked. And the 28th of October, Matthew Perry was found dead in his hot tub. People don't know if it was an accident, for instance, Matthew Perry died. I found out at three o'clock this morning when I went on TikTok, and I said, no, please not let it be true. And I went on Google, typed in his name, and it was there, he died. I wanna extend my Sincere to um, his friends and family. I hope they're doing okay. I know Matthew Perry didn't have any children or didn't have a wife or anything like that, but I know he got daughters and he had friends. The trouble is, with Matthew Perry, no, I didn't know him. And why am I getting this so upset? Because the thing is, actors or celebrities don't realise how much that they have done to really help us out during hard times. I am a big Friends fan. I watched him in Friends. I've watched him in all his movies. He was a very funny guy. Yes, he had his drink and alcohol problems, but he got uh, he his alcohol and drug problem. But he he went on to help others and tell what it was like. Actors will not know how much something helps us. They will never know. Yes, we don't know them, but when they're deaf, when they die, it hits us because it feels like he was one of my friends. It does feel like that because when I watch Friends. I never used to look at it like a TV show. I used to look at it going, these are my group of people, these are. And I used to watch them all the time. And the post of a friend's post of all the quotes on, in my office. And I'm still shocked that he's gone. He was only 54. 54 years old, it's not a good way, it's not an age to go. If you think, oh, I'm 54 years old, no, it's not. Think about it, I'm 35, 19, 20 years. I'm there, I'm gonna be 54. And that is shocking. Actors do touch our lives more than they will ever know. Even if we meet them, even if we don't meet them and we watch their stuff. Thing is with Matthew Perry, he's a very likeable person and I grew up watching Friends. And they still look all to this day. I wish the Friends cast is okay and his, I hope Matthew's family and his friends were okay. I'm sorry, I have to go through a hard time. I just can't believe he's gone. Like, I can't believe it. Like, any friends, even I know when I heard about Gunther when he died, Gunther, my James Tyler, I think it's James Tyler. Uh, the person who plays Gunther when he died, I was sad because I was like, what the fuck, what? And with the Harry Potter series, the Harry Potter films when someone goes, because you watch them on screen and you're thinking, they've touched you, they've touched your heart and you don't. In a way that is, that is really nice. I just can't believe he's gone, I just can't believe it. He was in, he was such a funny character. He was such a, f he, the way he goes about, he was, forgiving he was helping people out as well he didn't want people to go what he went through so he helped him out and i just can't believe someone like that has gone 